Hello viewers, how are you? Uh, today I will show you how to install config server security and firewall, I mean uh, CSF on CentOS 5, 6 or 7 in cPanel and uh, here first you have to install depends, uh, dependencies and uh, as I am using uh, uh, CentOS 6.5 I will dis use these dependencies, uh, actually it is Perl dependencies so I just uh, logged into my SS and I just make sure install Perl, I will run this command and it takes few seconds already it is installed so it is showing that uh, nothing to do because it is already installed so if you use uh, CentOS 7 or uh, Red Hat Linux 7 you just use this command I will give it uh, to my description then you just go for cd temp and uh, you will uh, enter temp directory in temp directory you have to download this one I mean configure uh, wget I mean you will use wget to download uh, config server uh, config server security and firewall so I am downloading it and it shows that it is downloading yes it is downloaded then I will unzip it so I will use star command to unzip it yes this is unzipped yes. next I will enter into it cd csf I am entering it then I will run the install command here yes so uh, it, it shows the uh, bash install permission denied so uh, it is why because if your uh, short command is not enabled on a uh, root I mean server then it will show this uh, let me fix it so you already see I have a, a problem with a bash command that uh, bash uh, permission denied so I will try to check the permission I mean uh, this one I mean CS mod plus X uh, plus X means it is give you the right permission so I just put it here and then, then again I try with install SS let me try and check it if it still works or not or otherwise yes so it is showing is still permission denied so uh, let me try another fix so uh, installation complete which command I use here I actually this short command is not working so uh, you can rather use SS dot install dot sh if you check i have used it uh, here i mean yes this one this command i have used it here so it is installed uh, installation is complete now and uh, later uh, i can remove um, uh, i mean uh, uh, the installation file so i just a com use this command so rm and remove this yes csf and uh, then I will remove this one yes. yes so everything is removed and uh, I will check for IP tables and uh, it, it is this is the common test IP tables csf test.pl I will give this on description so you can check it on your SSIs yes it shows that everything is okay and everything uh, uh, is fine so next part is configuration of CSF and we have to enable it uh, on our server and um, here another thing I have to tell you that if you want to uninstall it you just use this command cd etccf because etccf contains uh, I already tell you that the configuration of CSF firewall uh, installation location is etccf so if you wish to your configuration from one server to another you just zip it and you just move to one server to another so you, if you, you you if you wish to um, uninstall it you just make sure uh, enter c cd etccf and run this command ss install dot ss so let's uh, enable it on our server and uh, let's uh, enable it one so I am inside my server so I just write it here uh, config server firewall config config server mm. and you see there is the uh, I mean uh, plugin section it is inside plugin section so just click on it and uh, it is uh, you just see that it is already loading on server so actually uh, fire status is uh, enabled but in test mode don't forget to disable testing in the fire configuration when in restrict sys log is disabled sys security warning in uh, uh, fire and configuration so just uh, do the configuration section i mean fire configuration 
and uh, here is some other configuration here you can do it yourself if you have and first you have to i mean stop uh, testing section and you just have to every time you do change any configuration you just make sure uh, restart the firewall and uh, click change this one on below then restart csf and lmd So you already know about how can you install a config server a security and firewall on your cPanel. I mean actually WSM in your VPS. And uh, how can you uninstall it? I will give this comments uh, on your, uh, I mean, uh, on description. And if you still have some question or if you need any support to configure it on your server, you can contact me on uh, Facebook. I will do it at low cost for you. Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and uh, if you have any question again uh, then you can ask me in comment. Thank you.